I'm on page 75 in our math journal. And we just did 2 eighths plus 5 eighths. We said that equals 7 eighths. And because my numerator and denominator are only one digit apart, we know that's in simplest form. Then we did 7 ninths minus 1 ninth equals 6 ninths. 6 divided by 3 is 2. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now our numerator and denominator are one digit apart, so we know we're in simplest form. Now, down here on 6 tenths, a huge number of you did something like this. And that is true. 6 tenths equals 3 fifths, but that is not what the directions say to do. You need to decompose that fraction. Who can tell me how did you decompose 6 tenths? Connor? Okay, 3 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 6 tenths. That is one way to decompose it. What is another way that you could decompose that? Penelope? Um, another way to do it is, is we do 3 tenths plus 3 tenths equals 6 You can't reduce. That's not decomposing. Nolan? I did 5 tenths plus 1 tenth. 5 tenths plus 1 tenth equals six tenths. So you need to break it down into smaller amounts that equal the whole amount. So Penelope, can you give me one now? Three tenths doesn't equal six tenths. So you can do two tenths plus one tenth. That's three tenths. I need to get up to six tenths. So what should I do? What do I need to add? That's three tenths. What else should I add, Penelope? Um, maybe and then that gets me to five tenths. So now what do I need to add? Another. Right. And then you need to put equals six tenths. Two tenths plus one tenth plus two tenths plus one tenth equals six tenths. Give me another way to do it, Max. Two okay, I can't do fourths. I have six tenths here. I need four tenths. Four tenths plus two tenths equals six tenths. There are other ways to do it, but when it says to decompose the fraction, you need to take a larger fraction and break it down into smaller fractions. Yes. Are you able to put six tenths equals five tenths plus one tenth? Yes, you can reverse the, yes, you can reduce the sum and the add-ins. That's fine. Okay, so I am looking and I don't see plus signs. I don't see equal signs. Okay, you need to have the equal and you need to have the plus. You need to have the equal and you need to have the plus. Okay, now I'll turn back to page 66. Okay, this one has you decomposing seven thirds. It said to turn it into an improper fraction before, before you decompose. So seven thirds is already an improper fraction. Who can help me decompose that? Trace? Very good. And see, they already have the equal sign there. So 7 thirds equals 2 thirds plus 5 thirds. Again, on this one, some of you guys turned it into an improper or into a mixed number. You have to follow the directions. It says to decompose or break apart the fraction. Penelope, what did you do for 7 thirds? I did 7 thirds plus 4 thirds plus 3 thirds. Very good. Does anyone else have one? I want to share, Mason? Um, I did um, two thirds plus five thirds. Well, that's what oh. Trace did. So give me another one. What else could you do with two thirds? Um, three thirds and four thirds. 
well, no, two thirds plus three thirds plus two thirds, okay? Okay, so for this one, it said to turn it to an improper fraction. Alex, how do I turn this into an improper? Alex, how do I turn this into an improper fraction? Yep, so what do you get? 25 fourths. But you're not done. Now you have to decompose it. Amanda, can you help me decompose 25 fourths? Very good, I can do 12 fourths plus 12 fourths plus one fourth. Okay, Brady, how did you do it? 20 fourths plus five fourths. Very good. There's a lot of ways to do this because 25 is a big number. Okay, Sam, tell me how you did it. Okay, very good. You could do one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth 25 times. Okay, so that is how we decompose fractions. Okay, is that ringing a bell? Is that gonna, are we good with that? Okay, now let's look at our red, pull out our red notebook. And let's start a new page here. Actually, I changed my mind. Let's go to our math journal. Oh man. And open it just to page 78. Okay. And I don't think we're going to get to our scavenger hunt today because I'm going to give you time to work on your tiny house. So I, don't, I think we'll have to get to the scavenger hunt tomorrow. Can we, can we 